beautiful day here in Hollywood, California. We are here at Universal Studios Halloween Horror Nights. Sammy, what are you most looking forward to for tonight? You know, I'm just looking forward to being back in the park. I'm pretty low expectations. I'm just here for a good time, not a long time, so. Um, <laughs> You're still you know? tired from knots last night? Oh, definitely still tired. Legs definitely hurting. Did over seven miles. Probably gonna do another like a million today. <laughs> I know we're already a mile in, so. We're starting off great. It's yep. gonna be a good time. Uh, I think first up, we're gonna be hitting the Exorcist, and then uh, some Texas, and then we'll see, see what, what else is there. From there. Yeah, I think I'm most looking forward to Universal Monsters: The Bride of Frankenstein Lives. Should be a fun time. We're here to, like I said, Sammy, like Sammy said, we're here to have a fun time, not a long time. So, <laughs> should be a good night. Join us. This is our, both of our first nights at Halloween Horror Nights in Hollywood. Uh, you guys already seen last week. We were in Orlando. Um, so let's see what Hollywood has to offer. And uh, it's going to be good talk for East versus West in the future. So join us. Here we go. It's the power of Christ that compels you. All right, so we just did the uh, Exorcist, uh, and honestly, I have to say, for it being what it was, I mean, for one, I think that's the one movie that scares the shit out of me more than anything. Yeah. And it got me in a bunch of scares. And they utilized, obviously, uh, the black walls in there. They utilized them really well. There was more scares, it felt like, than, than to, uh, before 2016. Uh, the one thing I thought it lacked was I, th I felt there was more rooms when it was in the mummy queue. But I could be wrong. It felt like this floor plan was a little bit more bigger than the money queue. Uh, what'd you think? Yeah, no, I definitely thought there was a lot of great scares. A lot of unexpected ones where you would see Pazuzu just jumping out of nowhere. Yeah. Um, and so they got me a couple times. Didn't scream or anything, but definitely caught me off guard a couple times. Right. Um, the only thing I would say is that even though I like the black walls, it, they, there was a little bit too many. Yeah, I mean, it was just, it made it really kind of hard to, to, to walk yeah, around. Yeah, because we couldn't really see where we're going. Um, but nonetheless, really good scares um, and the set designs that had set designs really look solid um, so it was a lot of fun we're about to head through Texas Chainsaw Massacre right now hope you guys can stick around check it out <laughs> So we just got out of the Texas Chainsaw Massacre, and I have to say, I actually did like this one a little bit more than Orlando's. Um, however, Orlando was very detailed, but this one had a lot of scenes that I didn't really get to see in Orlando. Not to mention, the homie was working it. Uh, good out, shout out to Arkham Night Guy. You know who you are. You know who you are. But uh, what'd you think of Texas? Bro, I thought it was magnificent, way better than I expected. Right. I don't think there was, only one part I was like, oh man, black walls. Otherwise, great transitions, yeah. great scares. We even cast it, we even got it on a cast change and it was still really good. Still really solid. For me, the black walls weren't an issue because it was good transition scenes from the house to the uh, the barbecue place and then the barbecue place from the cemetery. So it wasn't too bad for me. I kind of gave that a hard pass because like, didn't bother me too much. It actually fit really well with the story, but really good stuff. Good job, Texas. Uh, good job, Exorcist, for scaring the shit out of us. We're gonna go back to the upper lot now. We're gonna check out the Terror Tram and the other mazes they have to offer up there. So let's go check it out. Let's go. I'm trying to burn.
right, so we just got off the Terra Tram, and I have to say, half liked it, half didn't. Uh, me and Sam, I think you agree with me, Sammy, the scares weren't the best. Yeah. But it, it is always fun just walking back there to see the Bates Motel and the World of Worlds crash set. Um, so, yeah, it wasn't the best, but it was still good to have back. I did miss the Terra Tram. Yeah, it was, um, nice to, it was nice to have it back. I would say scenic-wise, though, like, some of the sets and stuff were really cool to look at. Yeah, the sets were really cool. Yeah. The good story, but it just lacked the, lacked the scares. The scares. It, it, maybe, maybe we got there through a cast change. Yeah. So that's the only reason I can think about. But other than that, I mean, wasn't really impressed. This is so far at the bottom of my list, at least. Yeah, I definitely agree. Uh, right now, we're about to go check out Pandora's Box and The Haunting of Hill House. Um, I know Sammy's really excited for the Haunting of Hill House. Yes, sir. I'm t I'm excited to see what Hollywood did for their Haunting of Hill House. And I'm also excited to return to Pandora's Box. So that should be a lot of fun. And then after that, uh, we still got Halloween Brides and The Walking Dead. So let's go see them. We just got out of the Curse of Pandora's box and the Haunting of Hell House. Should we start with the bad news or the good news? Uh, more like the Haunting of Disappointment. The Haunting of Disappointment. Uh, it started off really solid, really did. Uh, but by the end of it, it, as it went on, it just wasn't delivering for me. Yeah. I wasn't a fan of like, they, they, they didn't really use a lot of scare actors, at least it looked like that. It looked like more of like a lot of statues and, and animatronics and whatnot. Uh, and then as it started getting better at the end, the maze just ends, so... Yeah, the one good com compliment I will give is there was a really cool wall scene. Yeah, with, like, with some of the ghosts and yeah. stuff. Like, that was... The effects in it were cool, um, but it ultimately just a disappointment. Yeah. Um, however, to the good news... Curse of Pandora's, Pandora's box, box is... I thought it was better than 2019. It felt like they added some new stuff into it. Uh, such a fun maze. Goes to show you... If HHN out here in Hollywood were to get more originals, even returning, they would still slap. We're yeah. about to, we're about to head through Walking Dead, Halloween 4, and The Bride of Frankenstein Lives. We'll give you guys our reviews after we get out. Uh, but stay tuned, we got more for you guys. That was so good. We just got out of The Walking Dead, and I'm not gonna lie, I did kind of miss it, and it's ranked pretty high on my list. Yeah, I would say the same. It, it was good. Yeah. Uh, we were basically by ourselves, so that was a lot of fun. Yeah. Just like Roblox. <laughs> just like Roblox. Anybody, anybody who knows knows. Uh, but we're about to go through Halloween 4 right now, and then The Bride, and we're pretty much done for the night, but it's been a pretty decent night so far. Let's go check out Halloween 4 now. <laughs>
And thus concludes our journey here at Halloween Horror Nights at Universal Studios Hollywood. We uh, have two more maze reviews for you. Halloween 4, uh, The Return of Michael Myers. Really solid maze. I think I liked it a little bit better than 2018's version of it. Um, you never got to see 2018, so what did you think of it? Yeah, I thought it was good. Had some good scares. I would say it was, I would put it like towards the middle for me, probably like four. Right. Um, but the, the real highlight is what we're getting to is uh, the Bride of, of Frankenstein, Frankenstein Lives. Uh, what can I say about this maze? When we saw it at Awaken the Spirits, I was already sold by the concept art, by the music, by what was to come as the costumes and, and, and the vampires. Bride of Frankenstein, Frankenstein's monster, everything was well worth the wait. Very well worth it. I, yeah. I loved every minute of it. And even ending off into a Silver Screen Queens, yeah. a fun time. Yeah. Really enjoyed it. Uh, what about you, man? No, I, I can't, I have nothing but good things to say. Um, I think they did a really good job of this doing quality over quantity it was right. nice and short yeah but every room had a purpose right the black walls had a purpose right. everything about it was so good number one for me of the night de definitely so um I, I would say overall event i would give it six out of ten right um but you know look uh look forward to after season when we do a, a full review right i mean again i'm giving horn nights the the really hard pass this year i know pandemic probably you know they wouldn't have as much funds as they usually do, so they did what they can in the short amount of time that they could. Um, however, we still had a blast, had a great time. Can't wait to come back next year to see what they bring back next year, uh, or what they bring new next year, should I say. Uh, but if you guys are new to the channel, consider hitting that bell notification and that subscribe button to be aware every time I put up a new video. And give this video a like, it really helps us to get the content out there so we can get more horror fans like you on the channel and interact with all of you. Uh, follow us on social media at the Knights of Horror on Instagram and at Knights of Horror on Twitter. And uh, stay tuned, we have tons of horror content coming up soon. But with all that being said, we love each and every one of you. Hope you guys enjoyed this weekend's madness that we went through. It was a lot of fun. Did you have a lot of fun? Yeah, a lot of fun, a lot of walking, but uh, well worth it. Well worth it, man, but uh, a lot of fun. Next week, Rob and I hit Six Flags Fry Fest, my first time. So Rob's gonna be the veteran there, taking me there. But until then, I'm Anthony, that's Sammy. We're the Knights of Horror, and we'll see you guys next time. Peace.